What are you guys trying to do? guys it's your boy Jed with another video thanks for stopping by in this video I'm gonna show you all how to uh, heat wrap your exhaust headers or exhaust in general I've, it's something I've done before with the Vulcan S I've done in the past video um, but this time uh, it's gonna be for the RSX and matter of fact let me go out here and show you all what I'm gonna be wrapping there it is. It's uh, let me see. Let me turn it over a little bit. All right, you see that's an Nvidia exhaust header for the Acura RSX. It's the 421 design with a flex pipe, and it goes to a 2.75 inch uh, outlet. I picked it up from somebody that was like two and a half hours away, but he's still selling it for cheap, so I couldn't pass it up. This is the first step to uh, finally fixing. A big problem with my car which is the exhaust in terms of how it sounds and how it helps me get the car perform so yeah there it is first off you're gonna need a bucket with some water and to dump the heat wrap in it needs to soak in water see uh bubbles are still kind of coming out you want to wait till the bubbles pretty much go away the other things you're gonna need other than the bucket of water or heat wrap itself and whatnot you're gonna need metal Zip ties, or I guess they're called zip ties. Some long nose pliers. Um, I got two of them, cause I, cause this one it kind of sucks. But this Leatherman, the tip's broken off, but the the cutters are right, are pretty good still. Uh, you're gonna need some kind of cutting tool to cut off the excess of the zip ties. Uh, and then something to cut the uh, exhaust wrap itself. I also need some like gloves or something to when you're messing with the heat wrap, cause it's there's a lot of fiberglass in heat wrap, so. That's just to protect you from getting like a bunch of splinters in your hands and stuff. So it's a good idea. So heat wrapping is actually not a hard thing to do. Kind of tedious and you know, you gotta sit there and wrap, you know, over and over again. Um, and for me, this is gonna be a little bit different because the Vulcan S, because uh, the Vulcan S exhaust that I wrapped, you know, a, while, a long time ago, like a year ago or something. It was a pretty straightforward uh, exhaust. It had the two, headers I guess that come out they go into one and two the exit of the exhaust and it's like you know maybe four feet long or something it, it wasn't that much but these are like the, there are four in uh, exhaust runners that go into and two four that go into two two and then to one so I'm gonna have to wrap each one of the runners like individually and then wrap them all in one so like I don't even know if I have enough uh, exhaust wrap to be honest for this job I might have to go get some more but let's see cut off a piece hopefully it's long enough Tied it down with a metal zip tie, then wrapped it around along the all the way down to I can't no more where the weld is right here. Um, to make as much use of this wrap as possible, I'm trying to do it to where it's like spaced out as possible, and also every time you go over, like pull it tight. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these runners off camera, and I'll get back to you. One hour later. So I finished the uh, 
individual runners of the header. Uh, by the way, quick tip. If you're gonna do this, get more exhaust wrap than you think you need. Cause I, all I bought was a measly like five or 15 foot roll from O'Reilly's. I sorely underestimated how much I needed. I should have gotten a 50 foot roll to begin with. I bought a, uh, off camera I bought a 50 foot roll. I had to go run to a, a, the nearest O'Reilly's and all that. Because that 50 foot roll was just good enough for like three of the runners. So, so yeah, it's a, uh, get more than what you think you need the first time. I did uh, all four. It's it's not hard, it's just, you know, tedious and you just gotta be patient with it. By the way, these, uh, I don't know if y'all know how to use these uh, metal zip ties, but basically you go in, once you go in, pull it tight as much as you can, and then you gotta take some needle nose pliers, grab that end of that, that slack, and then just kind of turn the the, uh, the zip tie as much as possible until you can't anymore. Be sure not to go too much because actually this one blew out on me because I went too hard, uh, too tight and it kind of just ripped off. Uh, so don't uh, don't go too hard. Just just pretty much till it's snug. It's not going anywhere if it's snug. And then to cut off this excess. You can either just get some snips, it's a lot easier, but I can't find mine, so what I do is just hold on tight with this, bend that part like, like that, and just bend it back and forth. There, comes off. So that's how you do the metal zip ties. What I'm gonna do now is wrap those, these two, where, where the two runners meet, like here, to where it's like pretty much down here, then after that, I'm just gonna do one big wrap around the uh, around the whole uh, pipe down to the flex pipe. Went, went ahead and do the where the pipes meet. Now I'm from here. I'm just gonna be wrapping it all, wrapping it all in one one wrap, all the way down to the flex pipe. So yeah, just about done. off any like frays like like this stuff right here trim stuff off like that but other than that the exhaust is wrapped and good to go I went crazy with the uh, zip tie stuff here because there was just for one for security and then two for like because there was like some loose flaps that I wanted to tie down and this was the only way I could get around this area I think so that. Yeah, uh, not too bad, I guess, given I'm doing it out here in my, in my little porch over here. FYI, if you're doing this and you are putting it directly on the car and you turn on the car, it's gonna start smoking, but that's just because the water in the, uh, the water in the, um, heat wrap is evaporating. It's gonna give off a weird smell too. More than likely, the video after this one it's gonna be a video of me and Steve actually putting it on the car. I'm not putting these in parts, but it is kind of in parts. First part is wrapping that, second part is installing it. Third part is gonna be getting the full exhaust done. By the time you all, you all watch this video, I've already had it done. I'll be going to Backyard Auto and having them do a custom three inch exhaust for me. I have a vibrant muffler and resonator ready to go to. Had it for a while, I just been having that. Or, Never got around to putting it on, but. So yeah, the, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to comment anything, then go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, especially if you, if you want to see 
more stuff that's gonna be happening in the future with my RSX and then, you know, more track stuff and whatnot. And, you know, share this video if you want to. I mean, if you found it informative enough. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.